No, it doesn't happen in Yemen. And in fact, the United States government, we are not at war with Yemen. So there are conflicting reports about where the actual Navy ships were that were fired upon. Um, in, uh, you know, according to the international waters and the governing body, all ships are able to pass by, but they have a 12 mile, what they call OTH, which is over the horizon. So people on shore cannot see the ships as they pass. So if the United States was near that 12 mile line or maybe went over it a wee bit, then that is a provocative move by the U.S. and it would probably warrant the Yemenis to, you know, send a warning shot at least for the U.S. ships to move back. This morning, the new report, my source inside the uh, mm -hmm. Pentagon said they have indeed now pulled back a little bit further so they don't see any more incidents of this nature. Now, did the United States do this on purpose? Were they testing something? What is going on here? Because this well, is not like us. Well, I mean, it's a complicated situation, but you have the Houthi rebels who are backed by, allegedly backed by Iranians, right. and then you have Saudi Arabia, who we bought and who we sold $22.9 billion worth of weapons that are being used in this Yemen war, which is not a civil war. It's more of a proxy war because the Saudi Arabians would love to take over Qatar because they've got, you know, they, they're at the, the head there of the Straits of Hormuz, and that's where all the oil comes and goes. It's a very important strategic waterway. However, Yemen is one of the poorest countries in the Middle East, and in this case, the reason there's been talks of war crimes here is the civilian death toll is just about the same number as the actual bad guys. So you've got 50% of the civilians dying are women and children, and they're bombing hospitals, they're bombing schools, they're bombing mosques, they're bombing you know, in residential areas. So it's a lot of indiscriminate bond, bombing going on, and State Department officials said that they, that they don't believe that Saudi Arabia is doing this in an indiscriminate manner. They just don't know how to use the weapons they bought from us. We so that's, you know, in, of, in and of itself is pretty tough. We certainly don't want to get involved in a, yet another conflict uh, in yeah. a proxy war with, with Yemen. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's something that should concern Americans because this could escalate that conflict to a greater level. And now we're starting to see Russia take sides and China take sides. And once you get to that situation, it takes one little spark and then the entire region will be in war. So I, I think that, you know, people in the, with this upcoming vote really need to, to look at this. Do you want to be in a perpetual war? Which we have been since 9-11, we've been at war. When is it going to be enough? So in whose interests are we really protecting over there? Those are questions the American people need to start asking. So, and I want to give a quick shout out here at the end. It was the 241st birthday for the Navy this week. Congrats on making it 241 years. And then also for all those Cub fans out there, they won their game against the Dodgers and they're hoping to finally make right. it back to the World Series. Yeah. So, <laughs> See you on the US. Leave it on a good note. Thank you so much. Thanks.